it's me terry of the yarn jewelry podcast welcome to a friday video this is the first friday video um yeah that i've done in a long time i think but this is a beginning of a series i think unless it's titled something else because i'm filming this a day early than what you're seeing it on friday see i got my fourth of july shirt still on because i actually filmed it yesterday well you're yesterday anyway <laughs> uh, um yeah, so I'm calling it right now, I'm saying that it is called Finish It Friday, but it might be titled something else in the description box because I'm still thinking and maybe I, I'll come up with something else cute like right quick when I'm editing this and title it something else. But right now I'm saying, well, I'm filming this, it's a Finish It Friday. So it's a new series. I talked about, described how everything was going to be working on this past Tuesday for Tuesday Tidbits, which will, will be my last Tuesday Tidbits. Um, for a while. I'll shelve it for a while and we'll do this on Fridays for a while. Just change things up. So uh, basically I have a bunch of whips and some crochet kits that I have that I've had for a while. And I've never made them besides some some sleeping whips and some works in progress things that, that I just want to get knocked out and finished. And so I put them all in this little pipe uh, container here and I went ahead on Tuesday I went ahead and drew something and so some of the pieces of paper in here when I finish them I'll be done with them and the paper will not go back in the container some of them um will be I want to make more of them or yeah I'll be make more of them so I'll do the item and I'll put that slip of paper back in so then I can have a chance to draw it again to make another you know of the same category same thing with the kits because the kits sometimes there's like 12 different patterns in the kits mo most always and so um you know I'll put it back in so I'll make another character well a couple of them a few of them in here are blankets and I was talking in the video on Tuesday I was saying well you know, if I pick one of those, it'll take me a while to finish it before I can pick something else. And then uh, a couple of my viewers, both named Linda. So hello, Linda number one and Linda number two. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your suggestion. Uh, I think y'all are on the same thought patterns there because they both come up with the same, uh, same idea and suggestion for me. And I love it. So what they were saying is, well, why don't you, if it's a blanket with squares, just do one square. If, if it gets picked, I'll do one square of it and then I'll put it back in. So that way I'll have some good variety changing around all the time and I don't get bored with a big project. Um, and then if it's a whole piece like that diagonal chevron, okay, uh, she, one of the Lindas had suggested like do like six inches or something, you know, just do a piece of it and then it'll go back in and I'll draw. And then I'll, if I could draw it again or get one, another, you know, the next time I get it, then I'll do some more work on it. And I love that idea. And so that's what I'm going to do as far as with the big one, big projects. Okay. So Tuesday I picked crochet food. And so I had this tomato that I was working on. This is play food for my grandbaby. And so I had this tomato. Here it is. I finished it. This is a pattern out of Whimsical Stitches right here. This book by Lauren Espy. She's got some great food items in here, plus her Crochet Cafe book too. Um, and so I finished finished the tomato. It's a big one. It's one of those beefsteak tomatoes. Yum. <laughs> and so anyway, this is finished. So now that it's finished and I showed it on here, um, now I'm going to draw something else. Now I did put the crochet food, the paper, I put it back in there. Oh, I, I should have waited. Well, I'll do this. Okay. So since it's already in here, if I pick it again, if it says crochet food again, then I'm going to let myself pick something else. So it'll be a different project. Okay. <laughs> so let me, oh, well, I will shake it. <laughs> Okay, now let's see what we're going to do the next project, and I will start working on it. And so next Friday, I will it'll, it'll either be finished or um, I'll show the progress on it or something, you know. Okay, so I'm going to pick something. <laughs> okay, we'll see. What is it going to be? Oh, kawaii. Okay, so that's a kit. In fact, I have it right here. I'm going to show you. It's this box right here, 
and uh, I mentioned before, I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box if I can find it. But yeah, I bought, I've got this. I thought it was a book, but it's actually, it's got a book. I mean, it's got 12 different patterns in here, but it's a kit also. So it's got the yarn and stuffing and a hook and everything. And now the, the yarn, the supplies is to make these two items right here, the, the dog and the sloth. But then there's, like I said, there's patterns to make a bunch of other characters. And I'm assuming, I'm thinking that there'll be a good backpack buddy size, you know? And so I will, of course, probably donate them unless, unless I can think of somebody else to give them to. But I think, yeah, I don't think, yeah, that's what I, I think I'm going to do that. Because it'll have backpack, I'll put a backpack clip on it and everything. Um, if I'm thinking it's going to be good, that good size. Um, and then they'll be donated to the Garfield make along, um, or I don't know if she's doing it. I know she's collecting for this year. That's Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet. I've been doing that last few years, sending little small items to her and she donates them to her kids elementary school and they use them for like rewards and different things in their school. Okay. So that is what I'm going to be working on, and I'm going to go ahead and say that probably I think I'm going to make that little dog. Because for one thing, the yarn and everything's in here already, and I'll just start with what they gave me, you know. And so I'll make the what they gave me to make. So I will use the pattern, use the supplies, make this little dog. And it's small enough. I'm sure it'll be finished by next Friday. And so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put the paper back. Uh, and like I said, if I, the next time I draw, if I draw it again, the same thing, then I'll just let myself draw something else. So it'll be something different. Okay, so that is the finish it Friday or whatever I'm going to be calling it. If it's something going to be called different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the tomato and I really like this. Sometimes... I don't know. It, I'm 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 reliving being a kid, I guess. But sometimes when I'm doing things, I like to make a little game out of it. Like if I'm having to clean up something or clean off a, a surface, I'll say, "Okay, I'm going to take off 20 items off this contain in this desk or whatever, you know, and put them away or do something with them." And that just kind of gets me motivated to go ahead and do it. And if I if I really don't like doing it, I'll just I'll take off those twenty items or ten items or whatever, and then I can I can stop if I want to. Usually, I always keep going and put get more. It just gets me started, and then some. A lot of times, I'll just keep going until I finish. But I don't know. I like to make a little game out of things, and so I just thought this would be a fun thing to. Um, Get some of these projects worked worked up and even get into some of these kits and things that I have um, that I haven't put together yet you know so I got a lot of good feedback on Tuesday a lot of you said that that you think it'd be a fun idea to do or a fun thing to do and I even had a few that said oh I think I might join you and, and do that so yeah if anybody if even if you don't have a YouTube channel um, or make videos or whatever if you want to do it along with me um, just let me know you know let me know in the comments what you're working on or if you're doing doing it or how you're going to be doing it to finish your whips and things and please send me pictures and things on the email and if it's okay I will share them on on the video sometime you know okay I'm gonna go <laughs> so I hope you're having a wonderful weekend I hope you had a great 4th of July yesterday uh, it's still 4th of July here but I know when you're seeing it it was yesterday I hope you had a great time and um, yeah we will see you on Wednesday for crafting with friends I'll let you know what I did over the weekend you know the, how I like to do that and um, yeah so I'll be back next Friday I'll show you that this <laughs> and then we'll get to draw something else and but but like I said, I'll see you before then because I'll see you Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday of next week. So everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.